G'day Meg fans, welcome to another Meg video and today, I can't believe it, we're not only 19 days away until the release of the Meg, so we're getting closer guys, but I want to share with you that my pre-order of Meg Generation is on its way, so in 30 days, I hope less, I'll have my hands on the next Steve Alton novel in the Meg series. And not only that, uh, I was lucky enough to be in the first 100 people to pre-order the book and uh, part of that you get a shard of Megalodon Tooth. So I can't wait to actually own a Megalodon Tooth or a part of a Tooth, which is fantastic. I can't wait to read the novel. Uh, so pretty exciting. Um, we've got a new international poster, which you can see now. Uh, we've been lucky enough so far. We've got... Uh, what was that five or six new posters for the Meg movie? They all look fantastic. Uh, hopefully, I can get my hands on one or two of these um, posters because um, they look fantastic. Look, this film is going to be absolutely awesome. I cannot wait. Um, another cool thing is an article I came across on one of the Meg fa uh, Facebook pages. Now, I, I can't um, give these guys a link to it because. I don't know uh, where they actually got these uh, images from, um, but uh, I know it's from a magazine called SFX Magazine. They interviewed uh, John Tettletub, the director of the film, and uh, they had a chat with it. It's a nice read, actually. Um, I attempted to read it and do a video on it and read it to you guys, but I messed it up too many times. So I'll just give you a quick summary of it. Uh, basically, he... he he talks about Jaws, how Jaws is uh, the number one sharp movie of all time. Nothing's going to um, beat that film. He talks about the design of the shark, where um, in the novel we all know it looked like a pocked up version of the Great White Shark. And uh, he also know, um, said about how some scientists thought that the Meg was a larger version of the Great White Shark, but uh, he wanted to give the Megalodon its own look, its own character, its own feel. So that's why we've... Um, got um, that's the reason why the shark looks like it does. Now, I remember when we first got the image of the Megalodon uh, a while back, I think a lot of people were a bit concerned on the way it looked, and they were kind of hoping it would look like a great white shark, like, they're not, like it was in the novels. Um, but I think now a lot of uh, fans have um, accepted it and I think a lot of fans are actually happy on the way the shark looks. Um, I am. I, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, it looks prehistoric. It looks scary. And uh, no, it looks very good. He also goes um, talks about um, um, how not only you want to keep the audience and happy and, and enjoying the film, but he also is looking at the scientific side of it as well. And this, and the people who've studied megalodons and all that and make sure the shark lives up to the right um, information or um, the you know uh, scientific side of it as well. Um, the size of the shark to the way it looks and the way it acts and stuff like that, um, which is fantastic. So it looks like he's really uh, making sure that uh, this film stands up um, and... Uh, and, and it looks good and sounds good so um, but uh, it's pretty exciting guys we're like I said we're 19 days away until the film's released and uh, it sounds like we're in for a big treat uh, next month so uh, I'm pretty confident this film is going to be fantastic and it's going to make lots of money and we're going to get lots of sequels uh, in the future as well so all right guys that's it for this video um let me know in the comment section down below guys what's your thoughts are you looking forward to the film are you worried about the film uh let me know what do you think how much money this film's going to make as well and do you think we're going to see sequels in the future and that all right guys uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, remember to hit that like button share this video and uh, i'll see you in the next video bye guys